I'm Laura Williamson, and it has been quite a year at Muncie Civic Theater. During the pandemic, um, I think all of us have learned different things about ourselves and the people that we live with. As we wrestled with the safest way to maintain our programming throughout the summer and fall, our, our youth program was the thing that our families uh, kept asking us to provide and, and we wanted to provide that and we felt that we could um, with social distancing outdoors and with masks, temperature taking, it's wh whatever we were asked to do, we did. And, and we learned something really wonderful in the meantime that by having um, smaller casts of kids together, we were actually providing a more authentic and sincere educational experience because more kids were getting larger opportunities at playing parts and they were getting more time with directors and we saw more kids develop artistically. I know that we'll all look back on this time with certain memories that will stand out and, and for me the Music Man this summer on Ball State University's Arts Terrace will, will always be a very, very um, poignant and important experience for me. Every single day it felt like we were problem solving a major aspect of how we can tell this story and, and be truthful about what we were experiencing, which is a global pandemic, and still make it feel real. Continuing to ask the question, how can we do this? Is there a different way? And that was really inspirational for me to observe that creative team take that on and, and to be a part of that was a great honor. When we did Moana this summer, that was a particular experience that meant a great deal to me. Um, we were committed to rehearsing fully outside. One of the things we came up with was to have family groups perform together. And the majority of rehearsals would happen on Zoom, so with families in their homes. And then we would you know, come and stage it and put it together. But the families were able to not need to be as socially distanced because they were already in kind of a quarantine group. And that was very helpful to us to, to have um, meaningful storytelling in, in the midst of this. Uh, we also had two full casts so that if someone did need to step out and quarantine and not be present at the theater, there was another group ready to go. So, so And that continues um, into everything we're doing currently, that um, there's two full casts of everything. And then the idea is that everybody will have um, equal time to perform. So that's been um, a, a measure of safety and um, precaution at this time that we've taken. We were absolutely overwhelmed with the requests that we received from families, from teenagers and children, especially through the summer and the fall, um, to continue our programming. And the trust that they put in us to do that safely was something that we took very seriously and, are, and feel very honored to have received. And we do feel now that we have learned so much from this and we will continue to keep our focus on our education program, on our mission to be the theater for the whole community, so that when this pandemic is over, we will be stronger and we will still be here. And that will be because of your support and we are so grateful for whatever help you can give us at this time. This Giving Tuesday, please consider a gift to Muncie Civic Theatre. We have graciously received a matching grant that will double your donation on December 1st. Thank you so much and the happiest of holidays.